The penalty for a New Jersey CEO who chopped down 32 of his neighbor's trees to enhance his mansion's view of New York City were halved, but he still has a bill that may run him $1 million. Grant Haber allegedly hired someone to cut down 32 mature trees on his neighbor Sammy Shinway's land. As a result, he struck a plea agreement for breaking a municipal law in the town of Kinnelon, New Jersey, which requires a permit to be obtained before destroying trees. The agreement reduced the fines he was originally facing, which could have reached $32,000, to roughly $13,194. Haber might not be done paying for it, either, as the borough prosecutor thinks he might have to pay more than $1 million to replace and maintain the fallen trees. In October, Kim Kasser stated, we're certainly dealing with substantial penalties. However, those are insignificant in light of the prospective reparation demands, which might total more than or equal to seven figures. In November 2023, a few months after the accusations, Haber, a security executive for an anti-terrorism organization, might utilize the $1.8 million he received for the sale of the Kinelon mansion, which he had purchased for $1.3 million in 2014. As for Shinwei, he thinks he would never be 100% satisfied with the penalties. I always use the analogy that they are just as liable as the person who did the hit, Shinwei said to the record. You hire someone to put a hit out on somebody. All he could say when asked if he intended to sue Haber was, I can't answer that question right now. Haber now faces county-level reparation proceedings after promising the court he would pay the $13,000 punishment within the next 30 days. The date of the upcoming hearing is April 19. Photographs taken at the location in July of last year reveal the massive mess that the people engaged to do the work left behind. One day, according to Shin Wei, he came home to find a group of guys clearing trees off his land. I heard chainsaws when I came home on February 27, so I drove my four-wheeler to see where the noise was coming from, the man stated point four men and a tree shredder were seen by me on both my cousins and my land, Haber attempted to deny any involvement. The workers immediately placed blame on him, but he denied all of it and ordered them to leave, Haber emerged and exclaimed, isn't this a catastrophe? Who would act in this way? Crow populations and soil erosion have increased since he chopped down the trees. He let his two dogs out when I was out in the outback with the forester, and they were bothering us, the forester said that he was 50 feet away, calling out to the dogs, but he never came to retrieve them, although there is a $32,000 fine, the estimated damage is $1.90 million. A typewritten. And signed note stating that he relocated here because he loves nature and is not a terrible neighbor appeared in our mailbox. He hasn't said anything else. A significant portion of the forest has been cleared of all trees, creating an opening in the forest. The Courier Journal was informed by Kinelon, New Jersey, town forester John Linson that he had fined Haber for his purported acts. I am only able to state that 32 trees were removed without a permit. Linson said to the news website. Their property is fully furnished with a little under seven-acre land that includes a games area, a gym, and an outdoor swimming pool with a waterfall. American Innovations, a weapons firm based in New York that created an IED, improvised explosive device, detecting kit, is founded by Haber.